Hey everybody, it's James with PC Gamer, and I'm here at PAX West, and we're talking to uh, Jacob from Arachnid Games, showing off their new game, uh, Diluvian. Can you uh, give us a rundown of what Diluvian is for the layman who maybe hasn't heard of it before? Sure. Uh, Diluvian is a undersea adventure game. You play the role as a captain in a sunken world where everything's been covered by ice. And so your mission is to try to get to the deepest point possible in the ocean. To get there, along the way, you need to get riches, get better subs, get better crew, and just keep going until you can hopefully get to the bottom. The demo I played kind of showed off a few uh, systems in the game. One being the submarine that you control and uh, maneuver around these open environments. But the other is um, that I found really interesting is that you can press a button at any time and you get kind of a cross section of the submarine and you can view your your crew. Give us a rundown of that. Yeah, so the cross section is uh, kind of like a 2D artwork based thing. Uh, you find, you have your officers who are with you throughout the story. Uh, they each represent a different part of the sub. You have uh, your helmsman who drives your ship. You have your gunner who shoots things. You have your sonar guy who gives you readings on what you see uh, through your sonar. Uh, you can al allocate sailors that you find around the world. These are randomly generated with random stats, uh, random names, the whole thing. You can allocate them to the different parts of the sub, which then can give you more firepower, better information gathering, or better maneuverability. Cool. and. They have conversations with each other at the same time. So are there set characters in, that are part of the main story, or do they all kind of come and go and you can pick your own crew? Uh, and, and how do they change over time? So the officers are kind of like the characters of the story. Um, you are kind of a silent protagonist, so you kind of find, figure out more about yourself as a captain through them. Uh, they interact with each other. They're very distinct personalities. Uh, and some come on and leave as the story goes on. Uh, yeah, and you can find out more about like where they came from and a little bit of their backstory. It all leads into kind of like our main red thread that goes through the whole thing. So these open environments, uh, are you directed through them or can you just explore at your own leisure? You can go anywhere you please. Uh, there's a couple of places, uh, maybe at start with the tutorial, where we'll kind of gate stuff off until you learn certain parts. But for the most part, the only thing that leads you through the story is this main story. Uh, other than that, you can choose to follow it anytime or you can go off and explore, find the landmarks, find treasure, find alternate weapons and submarines. Uh, but So yeah, no, we're not really hard funneling you anytime. Um, and as far as uh, we saw earlier, there was a bit of combat in there too. Can you kind of run down some of the, the combat mechanics and what the player can expect to see in those? Uh, the combat is uh, mainly based around two special kind of weapons. You have the bolt weapon, which in the concept is just like smashed together scrap metal and shot out like really hot bolts. And the other are the torpedoes. And torpedoes are sort of unreliable. They're very expensive, but they also win fights pretty handily. You need to choose when to fight, because generally you don't make a profit of fighting. And you need to also choose about who you want to fight. So using sonar, you ping somebody, they also see you when you see them. And so when you go around the world, you're finding like, who to fight and what kind of enemies. You just try to get, you're basically just trying to make a profit to try and get to the deepest point of the ocean. Fighting is an obstacle in the way of that. Can you salvage some stuff from uh, subs that you do defeat? If you don't blow them up too hard, yes. Well, hey, it's looking really good. Uh, it has a lot of personality, some amazing art, uh, and I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for chatting. Uh, stay tuned to PC Gamer for more from PAX West.